Hi, I'm Crystal Saturday, and I'm a 39-year-old mom of two who lost 85 pounds in eight and a half months last year, all natural, and I have completely transformed my body. I lost 60 pounds of fat alone just from diet and walking, and then I started counting my macros and lifting weights, and I've got a ton of muscle and a total body recomp. I want to share with you guys three things that I did consistently over the last year and that I continue to do and that I know helped me achieve my 85 pound weight loss and helps me to maintain it. Number one is I wear an activity tracker. I wear something like an Apple watch. I wear, I've worn a Fitbit, you know, there's Garmin, there's pedometers, anything that's helping you make sure you are up and moving is ideal. I prefer Apple watch because it has these challenges on the Apple watch that will challenge you each month for, you know, trying to complete your workout routine, however many days of the month or whatever the case, the challenge is. And I love it. And then it also kind of calls you out for if you haven't been on trend with your activity level that you had before. So that's kind of like a little coach on your wrist here. The other thing that I like about the Apple Watch is the reminders. Fitbit does it too as well, where it reminds you to stand every hour, which is crucial to make sure you're getting that blood flow in and we're not just so sedentary. Um, and that can also help with steps. And then of course, all of them track your steps. There's a lot of research out there on a minimal amount of steps. But for me, I stick with um, looking at my calorie burn and try, trying to get to a certain area each day. Second thing that helped me is logging my weight daily. I make sure that every single morning I log my weight at the same time. It's the most consistent time of the day for me where I haven't eaten anything, had anything to drink, and it helps to make sure that I am comparing my body um, apples to apples as much as possible. And also logging your weight every day holds you more accountable to what you've been eating. So I don't care how good I ate the day before or how bad I ate the day before, I'm logging it the next day because I want to know. Um, also, it shows the fluctuations in our body, even when we are eating well, that we still can have that water retention. So it's important to keep a note of that so that you can use that data to make yourself feel better instead of making yourself feel worse. The third thing that I always strive for is consistency over perfection. And that kind of dives into the point before of no matter what I did the day before, no matter how bad I felt that I did according to my journey, I still go at it the next day. I still pick up the next day. You know, I have a regimen that I set for myself and that has, has changed over the last year, depending on what stage I was in in my journey, but I remained consistent to it. And I did not allow myself to make excuses for the sake of excuses, because quite frankly, excuses are where, or what got me to 225 pounds and I needed to lose the weight. And I was tired of just relying on my own reasons of why I couldn't. And so it was time to just face the music and try to be consistent and quit always thinking it had to be perfect. So three things that helped me and I continue to do them on my weight loss maintenance journey. And I'll continue to share with you guys. So stay tuned. This little dude sleeps really well on my back. So class with Crystal will resume.